Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello and welcome back. Oh, it's a very nippy morning here. Um, waiting for the, the sun to come out. So this is part of the kind of using your stuff up. Um, I've been filming for the last couple of months on a Monday and a Friday. And it's basically using um, all your pre-made bases up. Um, those plain bases from digital kits and also um, packaging so we've already got the base we just need to decorate it so I've got a few different things here these are from some stickers that I had um, so they they can make nice little pockets um, these was from some food packaging um, kind of those microwave I think they're like vegetable dishes um, and there was like a big circle at the top and underneath there was this kind of shape so I thought they would make I think that needs um, straightening up a bit um, I thought they would make some kind of uh, tag interesting shape I've got a couple of um, packagings from Tim Holtz and these was from some really tall stickers. I think these was from uh, your creative studio. Um, so that's that. I mean, it's never enough made for you. Um, that was from some other packaging. I have actually um, stuck a, a back on this already. Um, I must have been meaning to, to make something at some point. Uh, so that's another one. And then we've got some interesting you know I get these sorts with the um, flaps on so I mean that's beautiful and then I've got this envelope from um, the vats and that's that <laughs> so I'm going to take oops, I think that's about more than half of it. I'll take this uh, top part and I'll put this other lot back in my tub uh, for another time. So let's have a think. I think they're definitely going to be, you know, some kind of pocket, whether you stick it in or um, stick it down. Did I say stick it in or stick it down? <laughs> if I did say that, I meant clip it in or stick it down <laughs> uh, these two are fine like I say I'll probably do uh, tags with with those um, so let's just try and straighten this this other side this then might actually make it a bit of a kind of belly band thinking about it so let's see what that looks like I need to take a bit off this side now. So yeah, I'm going to use this as kind of... Um, I might do it as like a decorative piece, like decorate it as a belly band, but then attach it to something else at, at another time. So that's that piece. Um, that one's obviously a tag. <laughs> um, this one, I'd folded it in half and cracked it. So I'm going to cut it down Just having a, a think. Okay, so I think I'm going to have these as pockets. So I am going to take just a little bit off because they're a bit too uh, square and so look at that kind of size. Yeah. 
so I went turn those into pockets and this one I'm going to turn into a large tag um, but I'm going to take this down so we've got that kind of ring um, all the same round it so I'm just going to pause for a moment. Um, I'm going to gather just a few things. I may not get everything I need, but um, yeah, I obviously need to get some some stuff on my table uh, ready. So I shall see you in a tick. Okay, I've gathered a few things. So <clears throat> start off with with these um, little envelopes, and I thought. I'll just cover those up with um, a couple of labels. So let me just um, straighten these up a little bit. So I have been saving um, this kind of stuff for for a while. Um, I've not just suddenly um, got it. So I think sometimes, I mean, I was in used to be in the mind of oh what's the point in just saving this one thing um <clears throat> but now i'm getting better at um yeah just putting them to one side until i've got a certain amount and then doing something something with them and then it was worth saving them rather than saving one thing um and and doing it doing it up but um if you've got several things then it's worth getting getting your stuff out and and getting them done so i'm gonna just cut this down onto the line just to make it a little bit smaller because obviously um these aren't very very big so that's those let's just get the ink out and just ink around these so these labels are from uh, Tracy Fox I can't remember which um, kit they're from I think I do have I don't know if I've got all of the labels on I've got, I've got a good amount of them I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or, or not. But we'll do it anyway. <laughs> then we know it's done. Right. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to put a little... Uh, oh, shall I put a little thumb hole in? No, I'm not going to. So I think I'd have a thinnish, tallish... Um, tag on them so these ones are going to go on the top to cover that top bit of writing so that's covered that bit <coughs> Okay, and then put this one on here. I don't feel like it's straight. I don't know if it's the label. If it's the envelope or if it's me. <laughs> it's, it's one of those. I think that's a bit better. Right, and then I'm thinking of getting that right in the middle. I 
Okay, that's that. I think they look pretty good just to say they've just had two labels stuck on them. But yeah, it just it just goes to show you how easy some of it is to to make it usable. So that's that one. So we've now got two little little pockets. Um I think these would probably be good on, you know, when you do like a flip out with, with different envelopes and to put on, on the front of a smaller envelope. So that's those two. Right, what have we got next? Let's have a look at, in fact, let's have a look at this one. So I've picked, no, I haven't picked that out for that. I've picked this out for here. And then I've got this, because I wanted something um, quite, you know, thin and long. So I'm gonna cut that off because it was a bit like a, a tag uh, shape. So that can go there. So that's ink, <coughs> ink those up. to back this with one to give it more stability and two to cover cover that up so i've got my um scraps here is that one gonna uh, wide enough yeah looks like so i'll get that color out When I do save uh, packaging, I don't save any packaging what will actually come into contact with food. So in these pizzas, the, the actual pizzas inside, because they're frozen, or in, in like a cellophane. Um, and then that way you've not got any anything on, on the packaging. For the for the uh, quite deep angle. you know that there's two pieces of card together it kind of 
blends them blends them into to each other gets rid of that white core I don't think it'd be white but with that being that colour so that's that's that pop that there so we're gonna have that there I'm gonna put something else underneath that and that there so let's have, have a thing um, <clears throat> leaning over to get some burlap I'm wondering about if to put that um, on there it's come off just a little bit more I put my short sorry I've veered off a little bit what's that let's just straighten straighten it up a little bit oh these scissors are ready for for being sharpened again. I'm not taking too much, too much off it. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on some um craft card just because I, I feel that um, the back of that tag the colour of it is, is making um, the burlap look a bit of a funny, funny colour Cutting it on this because we all know it. <laughs> my cutting skills aren't great. Right, so that would be at the back of there. Just chop that up. Leave that there because I'll probably need that again. Yeah, I like that, but there's something something missing. So I'm just gonna glue this in the middle just to get it on. Using the fabric type. So I'm going to pop that centre like so. Now I feel like I either want, I feel like I want. Um, A brad, that is the word, a brad. I'd like one of the sc screw ones, I don't know what the smallest um, 
sizes of those. Oh, if I can get it in my fingers. Yeah, I think that would work. Let's see if I can find matching one. And I'm just going to poke, poke a hole in that half, halfway, just to help me um, get through it. these brads are on my Amazon uh, favourites. I will check if they are or not because um, I love these brads. So I'm just squashing that down as flat as, flat as it will go so it's not uh, bumpy. So it wasn't spot on, but <coughs> it's fine. Right, so I'll clear this down. It just adds, adds a bit of interest, those, those brads. I so I do use them quite quite a lot. Right, let's try and... I think that's middle-ish. Screws are going different ways, but I'm sure it doesn't matter. Right, so <coughs> that's that. And then I'm thinking of perhaps doing a frame round uh, with with this. So let me mark it with my pencil. Probably be better to go <coughs> that way. So height wise, I want it about there, and then I want it about there. Okay. <coughs> And then I'm going to use <coughs> the fabric tag to stick it onto the actual uh, tag because it's a very glossy um, and I just think that the fabric tag will probably grab it a little bit better and faster. Well, I don't know. I'd say they both dry fast, don't they, thinking about it, but yeah, I just feel like I want to use the fabric tag. <laughs> Right, so let's try and let's move it from that card. I mean, in hindsight, I should have done this bit with Fabri Tac as well because it obviously gives you that that wiggle, whereas the art glitter doesn't. So, yeah, that's not bad.
perhaps done a little bit of stamping <clears throat> on the back I like that so that's going to go there do, no, do need a gap <clears throat> myself a little bit of room at the bottom I think I think that's that okay let's um, eyeball the middle say it as there-ish. <clears throat> just going to get one of these um, craft eyelets. Well, uh, um, holy reinforcements. Yep. Like so. Have I got it? <coughs> yeah, right, let's <coughs> have a look in my pot, see if I've got something uh, dangling. So these are all things that I've made so far in uh, the Botanical series. things that have embossed a couple of them have gone funny. I wonder why that is. That's okay. Yeah, it's just those. I think it's where there's no uh, embossing there and I think it's just made it look funny I think the same with that but <coughs> I mean it, it really really doesn't matter I quite like that on there I think it needs that for the for the size I wonder if they've sweated you know because they're at the bottom of there <coughs> I'll have to ask Julia to see, see if she knows. Right. Let's, um, I'm wondering about putting it on one of the ball chains. Right. What am I going to put there? I think what I'm going to do is, is this chain going to be too long? Yeah, maybe. I'm just going to take a little bit off the chain. Yeah, oh, I said I wasn't going to do that with my Tim old scissors. I've got some, like, quite bluntish scissors, but they do 
that you cut through your glass. Right, and then I'm thinking if I put that through there. Pop that through there. I don't know what's on my fingers today. I think it's because the ends of them are really cold. I don't know if I want to buy. I think I would look a little bit weird. Um, let's see, so that's that piece. Right, <coughs> what we on? 31. Gosh, time fly. I've hardly done anything. Right, let's, um, I want some. Paper to cover these, so I'm going to have those that way and that that way. Collage a piece because then the way it's done, done for you. So I'm just going to cut this down so I've got an edge to, to go from. Dust that wherever I don't need. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to go from that side. Of course, you are. Of course, you are, Tanya. Why wouldn't you? Right. So, I need to stick that on there. So, again, I'm going to use the fabric tack. Colin's crying. Ryan's in the bath and Colin wants to get to his dad. Okay, so that's <coughs> that one. And then I think the next one would be nice down here so I'm gonna go about there waste a card but I obviously want the best of of the print out so go about there the belly band type of piece. I think. I love that across that, that top.
Right, I'm going to pause and just cut these out um, because I'd like to get all these pieces that, that I've got out done and I'd like the video to be like no more than 30 minutes so I'll cut this out. Okay, I've got those um, cut out and I've inked around so I've just pulled a couple of these um, dies out and I thought these were some nice wide ones too cover uh, the space and I've got some tabs out that Julie made for me so I'm actually going to put the tabs down first because <clears throat> I think they're going to um, like overlap over the, the top rather than covering it and having it underneath so again I'm going to use that yep and I thought this shape went very nice um, with the with the shape. So that's that one. And I think it's around these as well already it's in the middle so that's that <coughs> Um, <coughs> let's have a look at um, labels or oh, like numbers. I can't put them on there. Well, that'd be nice. So I'll just oh, trim around this. No, glue it. I'm going to glue it. And I'll have it about there. So straight ish. Yeah. <clears throat> right, and then that can go like so. So that's that one, quite happy uh, with that, simple but good use of, of rubbish. <laughs> so that's that one, put that over there, um, see what, that might be nice over that side, let's just trim it down.
God. Got it. Right. <clears throat> this one must be just a little bit smaller. I'm going to say they're not from the exact same thing, so. Oh, yeah, that's nice. that one yeah I like those right this next bit I found this you know it's just out of a, a kit I think it's from a learning kit so I'm just gonna pop that in in the middle and then I'm hoping to find a little a little picture that will then go um, in the middle of that Let me just So I have got my little folder out of <coughs> little pieces, um, mainly from from cats. So we want something um, squarish. So. Fingers definitely aren't working today. Oh, it's getting on my nerves now. So yeah, sorry about <clears throat> keep dropping things. It, just my fingers aren't, aren't working today properly. But I'm sure I can soldier on. <laughs> just get on with it. But yeah, I have to be careful when the light is because obviously if you're having a cup of tea or something like that I'm not liking that uh, circle um, yeah and then you forget that your hands aren't working properly that day um, it can be a disaster <coughs> everything circular or oblongy maybe I've used all the squares for something I mean I'm not opposed to, to that I mean I'm, I would have preferred something a little bit more um, bigger but yeah I'm wondering if I've took all the squares out for, for something and use them because obviously I've not, not been printing anything out new because I've been wanting to go through everything and use everything up. Oh, these, they shouldn't be in there. They need to go over there. Right, I've got a... Ooh, you know, I like that. I like the colours. I think it brings out the, the pinkiness in, in that paper there. So this is from a nanny cat. I'm not sure which one. It might be the bird, bird one, but that might be a bit too obvious. <laughs> I'm sure it's not from the bird one. But it could be. Oh, who knows? Right, let's get this down. And then this is another piece done. Okay. 
so that just gives it a nice bit of a, a frame around it so that's that piece i'm quite happy with that so let's do this one next because i think this is going to be a quick one now again i'm just going to pause and all i'm going to do is stick some of my uh trash tuesday card at the back and i'm gonna put another hole in um because we're on 46 now seeing a tick okay so i've backed that and i've just took the old string out it was just some black string and i've just put some baker's twine in and i've put a ball pin and a quite biggish charm because obviously this tag is enormous so this doesn't quite um fit on so i'm gonna have to cut some of that off um i am just gonna go around a little bit and uh neaten neaten it up and then i'm going to um ink around it um and stick it stick it on off because we know that that bit's not going to uh, fit on. Right, I'm going to pause again, finish cutting around this and then I shall ink it and then I'm going to have to put a little bit of something uh, in the background for interest. You can probably see here um, I have pulled out some biggish um, numbers from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. Right, I'll see you in a tick. Okay, we're all inked. So that's going to go something. No, it does fit. How bizarre. <laughs> so, so I'm actually going to cut around this. I didn't bother cutting around this bit because I thought, well, it's going to be like chopped off. Ryan's just gone to work, so obviously Colin's gone into high protection mode. Okay, so I've just um, put all of those behind, and this uh, beigey one uh, looks looks the best. So I'm going to have it around there. So I'll just pop some glue down, and then I'm going to pause again. I don't know why I even say it. I'm going to pause. I might as well just pause and <laughs> come back. Because you can't tell when I've paused or, or not. Uh, only that my desk looks different. But um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, prepare for, for the last um, two, which are the same. So I thought if I got everything inked and ready, it should be pretty quick then. So it's nice to use this big botanical. I have cut it out a long time ago and every time I've tried it on something it's obviously always been too too big.
So that is that one. That's turned out really cool. Right, I shall be back in a couple of ticks and we shall finish, finish off. Okay, with these last two pieces, I'm going to make uh, a couple of pockets. So I am rubbish at eyeballing this. <laughs> so I just pinch uh, the middle and then I'm just going to put a little thumb notch in there. I think it's around this already. in the notch like so and then I've got these little um, squares these are some that, that Violet had done me and, and sent and I've had in my stash uh, a while so I'm thinking of putting some uh, brands not brands eyelets in there and I'm just going to put one each side so I'll try and get middle okay it's such a pass when when Ryan goes out but see Ryan's been off off work um or last week so he gets used to him being here and then when he's not here um he can't stand it um and it takes him quite a while to to get used to him not being here but um yeah after i've filmed this i'm gonna have a tidy round and um get ready and we're gonna take him for a walk so i'm just gonna put these um eyelets in Because hopefully by then, when he comes back, he'll have forgot, forgot all about his dad. <laughs> if he has a run, he won't have so much energy to keep bouncing up at the window, barking, you know, about a leaf, <laughs> a leaf blowing, blowing about. Oh dear. Sometimes these do lock and they're a bit irritating. Oh gosh. Right, so <coughs> that's those done. Now I'm hoping to find um a label what's gonna just fit um inside. Obviously that fits, but it's not super great. Oh, I wish that fit, but it doesn't. I quite like that. Let me well I'll see if it's worth trimming trimming round that's going to be too wide isn't it yeah maybe that one see then this seem too too small I could do with just one a little bit bigger Just wondering if once that's cut out, will that fit? No, it still won't. So that could just right. Let's <laughs> let's just go right. So. <laughs> I'm going to go for these two because once they're cut out, they're still going to be um, just a little bit bigger than that one. So I'm going around that frame part.
and I think I'm just gonna um, get my um, text stamp out and just um, do a little bit oh, in the background so let me get the timber brown out so it shows up a little a little bit better got a little bit of scrap card there Better. So pop that onto there. one I'm gonna pop pop that on like like that like that like that like that right middle middle and straightish now these are gonna make flat you know pockets that once you've stuck them down you're actually not going to be able to get very much in them and even in some kits you get these kinds of, of pockets um which you know a lot of the time that's fine but um Sometimes for, you know, some of your thicker uh, tags or if you want more than one thing in the pocket, it's not really great. So let me show you what what I do. It, this is going to run over the hour mark now, but um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what I did. So I've just got some um, card, as we can see. And I am going to glue this. I'm not going to do it with that because it will take forever. I should have perhaps waited to put the thumb hole in, but I've only just thought about it. So I'm going to cover uh, the back. And the top parts, I'm going to line it to the top. And there, I'm just going to leave a little bit. Okay. Right, I'm just going to get my trimmer. And just that off for a second so I've now got a gap all the way around okay I'm just gonna bring that in a little bit more so it's 
about the same all the way around and I'm going to do the same with this one. Sorry if I'm off off camera a little bit. <clears throat> oh, forgetting. Okay. So same again. And on my trimmer, I've got this kind of bit here. So I just go above that, um, and then it kind of gives you the same. Same all the way, all the way round. I'll just put that side off just a touch. Okay, so we've got two pieces like so. And this bit, I'm just going to go like that. Okay. And I'm going to get my thingy tool and I'm going to line this up uh, and score down the side a bit. Can be a bit difficult to to line line it up, okay. And then I'm gonna go from the bottom and just <laughs> that was a little bit extreme. Um, I can never do it from this side, like so. And because I wasn't looking, I've obviously not gone gone up enough. And then we can fold that down and that and that. And now we've got ourselves a gusseted pocket. So instead of just being able to put um, one thing in, you can either have something a little bit thicker or more than one thing. <laughs> That's that one, and then we'll put that thumb hole back in like so, and that's a much better pocket. Okay, so let's do this one. <clears throat> Right, <clears throat> and then just to, to lay it flatter, I will go around it and give it a good burnish down. Like so. I really like that. 
and what beautiful uh, background. I'm going to say that um, Tim Holtz packaging is lovely. And that's that. So in about just over an hour, we've made two pockets, a belly band, two journal cards, two little um, pockets and two jumbo tags all out of um our trash so two four six eight nine things so i don't think we've done done bad at all so it actually saves you time because your base is you know done for you you've just got to um change a bit and and you've got something different so i hope you've enjoyed that sorry it's um a bit long but um if I didn't try to get as many uh, done, <laughs> I'll be doing this series all year. I mean, I think I will anyway, but um, yeah, I'm never never going to get on top of me uh, things. And then it obviously puts me off saving more things because it's like, oh, I've still got, you know, a million things um, already. So, um, yeah, that's me today. Um, so I will come back um, another time. I don't know if it will be the next video uh, that I do the bases or uh, in a while and we shall do some, some more of a packaging. So thank you very much and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.